What's going on everyone? It is your boy 2K. Welcome back to a new video. Today we're playing Madden 22 and this is going to be the start of a franchise of Miami Dolphins and we're just going to be playing week by week uh, hopefully making trades and make the team better and this will probably be just like a season thing um, where if we win the Super Bowl then the season will end and if y'all enjoy it then we'll keep doing videos on it and stuff like that. But I'm just experimenting different type of content. And that's pretty much it. If you don't know what the Dolphins um, lineup looks like, this is what it looks like. So, we have Tua as quarterback, Miles Gaskin, uh, Devontae Parker. We have Kasiki. And then our defense, Emmanuel. We got Christian Wilkins, John Jenkins. Uh, Van Ginkle, uh, Baker, Phillips, Howard, McCourty, Eric Rowe, Sanders, and Michael. So, we're going to get into the first game of the season, and hopefully we can play well and perform well against the Patriots. And, yeah. Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. Alrighty, we are finally in the game, and it does look like we are getting the ball to start it off. So that does mean the Patriots will be getting the ball in halftime. Kind of unfortunate, I guess, but hopefully we can start off and do well to give us a good beginning. So in real life, I'm not a huge fan of Tua right now just because he honestly hasn't been the best. But for the first play of the drive, we are going to be doing a throw. And let's see who we can ha get open here. And we're just going to throw it to our running back. And Gaskin's going to get us the first down for a good solid gain of 11 yards. We are going to be running the ball here in first and 10. Try to get like a gain of three possibly. And it looks like we're going to get more than that. Like a gain of nine. Pretty good run from Gaskin. He is a player I want to see develop a lot. And hopefully do well for us Miami Dolphins. He isn't the fastest, but somehow he just makes it work another player i want to see do well for us is uh jalen waddle um i do like him a lot he is pretty good pretty speedy as well and i think his speed will help us out a lot and we're gonna try to hit gasiki here and it just goes right out of his hands and w and the dolphins do have four players that are injured unfortunately we are using the real um rosters so what's pretty much going on in real life at the moment um and we're just gonna run this with Tua try to get like a solid gain of six but if Tua doesn't work in a couple games you could possibly see me trade for a better quarterback just because, in general, I'm not the biggest fan of Tua. But he does dump the ball off to Gesicki for the first down to keep our drive ongoing. And I'm also going to try my best to cut these videos maybe like 30 minutes long um, at most. But I'm going to try to keep it short um, just so like it won't be a whole long episode of just Madden. Especially since this is something new I'm doing. And not a lot of people know of Madden on the community I'm in but I'd love to branch out my content and see if this is something you guys would enjoy I'm going to be looking for Williams here or Gesicki and it seems like we might have Williams here and he gets the catch and it looks like he is going to score a touchdown here and that's going to be our first touchdown in the season Good throw by uh, two of there. Uh, let's see if we can make the extra point. And it is up. And it is good. Words, 
I'm not the best Madden player. You could see me do a lot of mistakes. But for the f our first drive in the season, it seems pretty well. We were going to try to play our best defense against Mac Jones. He has been looking pretty good in real life um, with a big step up since Tom Brady left them. And he's been looking pretty good. We're going to control roll so I can uh, guard the tight end. Seems like we're going to stop them there. The computer is doing pretty well to play some solid defense for us. And that's always a plus. Oh, and it looked like we almost got interception there, but we forced an incompletion. That's going to be fourth and three, and it seems like the Patriots are going to punt the ball to us. And if you ask me, that is a perfect defensive drive here, and... Looks like we're going to get like gain of three there. Oh, nine. I definitely do plan on rebuilding this team a little bit. And it looks like we might have Waddle here for a first, but he might have stepped out. I'm not sure if there's going to be a booth review on that, but... Oh, and here comes the challenge flag from the Patriots. And it looks like they might be correct here. Yeah, it definitely looked like he went out of bounds here. And it seems like they won the challenge. That was a good challenge. From the Patriots, because he clearly was out. Um, but that is going to make it second and 10 for us, which is pretty unfortunate. Oh, and that's a horrible read by me, and it seems like it's going to be intercepted. And it might even be a pick six unless Tua can get him, but Tua makes a stop. That is a horrible read by me. I don't think that's on Tua. It was definitely on me, and now they have the ball in the four-yard line where they can bring the ball in for a touchdown here. And they do capitalize on our turnover. That was a bad read, honestly, by me, and it definitely cost costed us. It costed our defense, honestly. We're gonna have to be more careful with our selection. We're going to run the ball. Gaskin looks like he gets a gain of four, possibly. Yep, just about four. We're going to throw it at Gesicki here, and he's going to get a first down and more. I think that's going to be our, our main, like, person to look at just because he's been so well um in other Maddens and just in real life he's just been outstanding for the Dolphins and he could be the future of this team Oh, we have X open, and it looks like it's Parker, but Tua overthrows it. It's very, very unfortunate, and that's not good because now it's a 
third and three, and we are gonna try to punch this in with Gasick, with Gaskin, my bad, and he's gonna get a lot more than we needed. That's gonna get us closer to the end zone with the ball placed on the 26 yard line. What a run from Gaskin. That was very much needed, and I think we might be able to hit Waddle here since this center back is playing a little to the right. So maybe if I do a. Oh, no. Nah. It wasn't open there. We're going to try to throw it to Gasicki here, but unfortunately, it's swatted out of his hands, making it a second and 10. We're going to try to hit Gasicki here. And once again, Tua just overthrowing it. Not good. Making it third and ten. Seems like we might have to go for a field goal if we don't. We're going to hit Wilson here. And he might have got to the end zone, but it looks like they're going to mark him down at the one-yard line. We are going to try to punch it in with our fullback on the one yard line if you guys want to recommend any tra trades or players we should bring in let me know down below in the comment section and that's going to be a touchdown Carter is going to be able to punch it in and hopefully it's going to make it 14-7 and yep Sanders makes his kick making the game 14-7 On week one. And it looks like we are going to get a stop. Maybe for a loss of two or three. Oh, just a loss of one, but. Looks like we are going to make that like third and three, I believe. Third and two. If we get a stop here, they are going to have to punt the ball or go for it. And that's definitely in our favor here. And looks like they are going to run the ball. And the running back just somehow manages to get them the first down. That is actually insane. It seems like we were definitely going to make a stop there. Oh, and it looks like Parker almost got an interception, but he dropped the ball. And our defense is just coming huge here. I can't even lie to you guys. We're going to just ha probably have to watch the middle here. He could run the ball, and it looks like he's just going to throw it away. On 4th and 9, they should punt the ball, and it seems like they are going to be doing that. And our defense, once again, looking pretty nice in the beginning of the season. And to start off this way is just pretty insane if you ask me. We're going to try to do a little trickery here and maybe just get a gain of five. but And we're going to definitely keep it here and see if Gaskin could break out in the corner. And he does, and it seems like he got a gain of five there, just like we were looking for. We're going to go back to coach's su suggestion and see what the coach wants us to run here. If you guys are looking for a certain type of content that you guys would be interested in, please let me know, and I'll try to bring that for you guys. Uh, we're going to look at A, but it seems like once we threw the ball, we got hit, unfortunately. We're 
We're going to try to run a screen play and possibly get the first down. And we're going to throw it to Gaskin. Our lineman doesn't block for us one bit, but it is okay because we have Gaskin here. And he's just going to bring his defender with him on that play. We do need to hurry up because the time is starting to run out slowly but surely. And we're going to try to hit X here, which is Devontae Parker. And he is going to get the first down and go out of bounds. So that is a plus. It is going to stop the time for us. And the closer we get, hopefully we can get a gain of a three. And hopefully just bring us... We're going to try to hit Parker here. Oh, but it's an incomplete. Almost intercepted, it seemed like. We're going to try to hit our running back here, Gaskin. He is going to get the first down. We're going to make him go out of bounds here just to save that time. And we hopefully we can try to score a touchdown or get a field goal and be up by three, and that would be huge for us if we do manage to do that. We are going to destroy the B here, and it seems like it's incompleted as well. Tua is going 8-17. and 17. Honestly, I don't think it's all his fault. I have him making some bad reads. So, I'd honestly take blame for that. And we're going to throw a ball for Kasiki, and he does catch it over like two people. That is an insane, insane catch, if you ask me here. And we're going to try to hit Wilson here, but it seems like he is covered up and we're going to just throw it to Gesicki for the touchdown giving us the 20 to 7 lead and hopefully maybe 21 if we do make the field goal the field goes up and it's good and it's going to make it 21 to 7 against the Patriots and if you're asking me we, we are starting this season off fantastically we did throw one interception um, very bad read but so far, we've been looking very well, and hopefully we can keep this lead. And it looks like we do get a sack here. And the time might just drain out due to them not calling a touchdown, a timeout. And there's three seconds left, two seconds left. They're going to have to hike it. And he throws a, a simple curl route and looks like that's going to end the half. Unfortunately, since we did get ball in the beginning, they will be getting the ball at halftime. So here we go, and we're going to kick it off to them. Play action. And it looks like, oh my goodness, Howard with the diving interception. Could we get a replay on that? That was actually insane by Howard. What a diving interception from Howard. That was a crazy interception. And it looks like we are going to have Devontae Parker, I believe that is. And he's going to get the first down in a lot more, bringing it to the 11-yard line. That interception from Howard just honestly helped us get in great, amazing field position. And possibly we could score here and get an even bigger lead. And it looks like Gaskin's going to get a gain of four there. Oh, it looks like Tua is a little boxed up here, and he's just going to throw it away. Not take the sack. We are going to try to run this ball here. 
it may seem stupid, but it will get us closer. Um, I'm not really confident in us getting in the end zone. And Gaskin looks like he almost made it to the first down. And it's going to be inches. And our coach wants us to go for it here. And it seems like we are just going to do that. And hopefully Carter can get us this. And he's going to punch it in for a touchdown. Making it 27 Two seven, and with the field goal, it is gonna make it a twenty-eight. And so far, we are looking fantastic. It looks like Howard is on fire after that interception. I do want to see if if we could try to get another stop, and that is going to be third down. Our run defense has just been looking outstanding as of lately. This does look like it could be a run here, or maybe even an option. And it does look like he gets it, just barely. Oh, and it's fourth in inches. And it seems like they are just going to be punting it here. No confidence on their offense to make the conversion and make it first down. But they are going to punt us the ball. And honestly, if we score once again, I honestly think that we could have this game sealed away. And I don't see anything open, so we're just going to throw it away. Oh, and it seems Gaskin takes a huge hit there. He's going to make it third and nine, and... We're going to try to look for Waddle here, and hopefully he does get open. And Waddle seems like he's super open, but Tua overthrows him by a mile, making it fourth and nine. And we are going to have to punt the ball here now after that incompletion. And if that becomes an issue over and over later on in the season, I probably would end up trading Tua because... There's no way you should be overthrowing that guy there as a professional fo football player. Oh, and we get a big hit on the quarterback, but it seems like it's going to be roughing the passer. We get stuck on our D-line here, and Henry is probably going to get in a five right there. And honestly, Matt Jones hasn't looked too well. Five and ten, and probably just struggling. Not looking like his real self in real life at the moment. And the Patriots want to make a comeback. It's going to have to be now. They've honestly haven't done anything too amazing here. And it seems like they are going to rotate their players around and try to catch us off guard. Quick slant and a big hit by Holland there. They are going to be running the ball, and it seems like it might be a big run. From Harris and Holland's going to dive and stop him down at the five-yard line. That might be the Patriots' best play at the moment. Their blockers definitely got them the room that they needed to make that play there. 
Seems like if we could do is oh, a slam, but our our player just couldn't get that interception there. That's very unfortunate. Seems like they're mixing everything up, trying to confuse us here, and it could work. And it seems like they're going to run the ball to the left, and can Holland get there? No, he can't. Harris is going to score, making it 13 to 7. I mean, 13 to 28, my bad. That's been their best drive yet, and I think on this drive, our goal should definitely be to either waste the clock or get more points on the board to make this lead a lot longer and harder for them. So we are going to chew the clock here, and that's going to be our game plan for a little bit. And just waste this clock and try to end this game off. It seems like we're going to get a gain of three there, possibly. Slowly but surely, we're just draining the time on that one play. We wasted like 40 seconds. We're going to get Gaskin there on a screen play, and he's going to get a lot more than needed, and we're going to try to stay in bounds to waste even more time. But they do tackle us out, so that's... A benefit for them. Gaskin's been having a solid game. 75 yards on the ground. It does look like one of our players is down and injured. I believe that's uh, Little getting injured. And hopefully it's not too severe. And we are going to get info on Little. And it seems like he has an ankle sprain. So we are going to substitute him since he won't be able to play anymore. So that's very unfortunate. We're going to th throw it to Gaskin here. And I'm surprised Tua was able to make that throw because he did get hit. And that's going to make it third and eight. We did not gain any there. But we're looking for Waddle here. And it seems like we do get Waddle and a lot more. Once again, we're going to try to stay in bounds to waste the time, and we definitely do. And it's going to place us at the 8-yard line, and we could possibly score again. But it is a 2-minute more warning. Two minutes left in this game. If we do score, we, we most likely will. Um, unless something insane happens. But it does seem like we are going to seal this game away and... The Patriots are going to use their timeouts to try to save time. They should have done it earlier, to be honest. But definitely seems like we may be the winner of week one here. And that's a big hit on Gaskin. Surprised he did not fumble away, but that's a big boy right there. Third down, we are going to run it once again. Try to punch it in with Gaskin, and Gaskin does punch it in for a touchdown. What a run by Gaskin. And that's going to make it 30, 35 to 15. If we do make the field goal, and we do, 35 for 15, a big lead. For the first game, we've been looking outstanding. If we play like this all season, we could possibly make the playoffs and even win it. Well, 
Let's see what type of defense we can get going on here. And it seems like we're going to get a, another sack. They're going to have to hurry it up because the time is not their friend right now, unfortunately. And it seems like we're getting another one. Needman gets his own sack. And it, once again, they're going to just have to speed it up due to there not being enough time for them. And it's one-on-one -on -one here, and Jones gets mossed. But he was out of bounds here, 4th and 29. And it does seem like they're just going to punt it away because if they do go for it, it'd basically be a free touchdown for us once again. And they don't want that, it seems like. They may have just accepted the fact that they're not going to be able to come back to this game. Oh, and that's another big hit on Gaskin. 20 seconds left in the game. And that seems like that's going to be the end of the game here against the Patriots. And what a way to start off the season. 35 of 14, the Dolphins are going to win. And I'm honestly impressed with how we played. I definitely thought this was going to be a lot harder game. But it seems like Mac Jones just wasn't playing well. And that is going to make our record 1-0 here. 240 passing yards compared to their 11. They're just, they just didn't show up, unfortunately. We are playing on all Madden, surprisingly, and they only, they, they did horrible. Horrible. Tua threw for 240 yards. Gaskin, 102 yards on the, on the ground. Um, Gaskin leading on passing as well. He had an outstanding game, and our defense was just great as well. Uh, Win an interception by Howard, and... How many sacks? We had three different players with a sack. But it's been your boy 2K. If you guys do want to see more episodes on this, uh, let's get this video to five likes. This was very fun to do. Um, and this is something I don't actually enjoy doing. Um, so make sure to show love on it. If you do want to see certain type of content, please let me know down below in the comment section. I did get GTA, um, and I have been playing 5M. I could stream that on YouTube for you guys or Twitch. Um, just let me know once again. Um, it seems like we do have two upgrades. We're going to do this really quick, and we'll end the video off. Um, Byron Jones does have an upgrade, and we are going to use it on Man to Man because we do Man to Man a lot, and that's going to boost his rating to plus two. So that is very nice, very nice. And our rookie, Phillips. Also has one as well. And I'm going to actually put it on power. It's not going to do much. But put his power attributes up. And yeah. Um, it's been your boy 2K. If you guys do want to see more episodes on this. Let's get this to 5 likes. Um, but it's been your boy 2K. And I'm out. Peace.